Bonjour les amis et bienvenue une autre vidéo LucaVision. Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and I want to welcome each and every one of you straight back to my channel and straight back to another Eurovision 2023 reaction video. Now guys, another day, another entry ready for the competition in Liverpool. And in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to France and their entry for the competition. And now France have internally selected this year. There's no Sevuki de Cide. Instead, France have selected the singer Lazara with the track Evidemment. Now, before we jump straight in, guys, I really want to know what you think about this track and where it sits in your top so far. Is this a good entry for France, in your opinion, or are you not too sold? Are you not too keen? Let me know all of your thoughts down below. I can't wait to get stuck into your comments and see what you guys have to say. But it's time to do this, so say it with me now. Enough chat. Let's react. Now, it's got to be said, guys, I have actually missed a national selection from France this year. They really do bring the quality year in, year out, don't they? But it's time to see what they have internally selected. So let's do this. Let's go. Oh, starts off with a classic sound, strings. And a very dramatic opening, it must be said. The VR rolls. Ooh, it starts off very promising. It's a nice light opening. Oh, classic sounds of that instrumentation. Gorgeous. Okay. Didn't expect us to go down this low key bop. I'm feeling a classic element as long as some retro funky kind of 60s, 70s guitar riffs. The bass line of that guitar coincided with that funky beat is really nice. I honestly don't know where, where to put this. I'm getting like classic 20s elements with that classic instrumentation. And then a 60s and 70s bass guitar vibe. It's very unique. Also, she is a vibe, isn't she? Great artistry. There we go with that guitar again. This is nice. It's a nice little head bumper. It's something you can have a little groove to. Loving this now. The vocal arrangement's completely changed. It's getting very dramatic. Best part of the song. Really turned the whole thing on its head. The emotion, the dramatics came up, the theatrics. She's very commanding of attention, isn't she? The way her whole hand moves, camera play. Very nice. Okay, um, I got a couple of mixed emotions on that. It was a good little ride. I really enjoyed the song for what it was. Based on face value, because I don't know what the lyrics are saying, because I didn't look at this prior. I'm a little bit underwhelmed, it must be said. I think if another country had released this, I think, oh, yeah, I would be bopping away. But because France set a precedent year in, year out, I am left a little bit underwhelmed. However, I will not let that cloud my judgment because like I just said, if a different country had released a song like this, I would be all about it. I think I just set a bit of a bar for France and I, I just don't think they've reached that bar. But I can tell you when this does go to Eurovision, I will be bopping along and I will be enjoying it. It is just that preconception of what countries usually bring year in, year out. Do you know what I mean? Whereas if say, for example, I'm not sure, Switzerland were to bring out this song, I would be jamming along because I'd find it very different for Switzerland and out of the box. But I think it is a good route and it is nice for France to try something different. It's a late back vibe kind of bop with classical elements, 60s and 70s motifs in there. That instrumentation is very rich, the little guitar riffs, that funky bass line with those almost laid back disco beats as well. Not quite sure what genre to put it in, but it was a good ride and I enjoyed the song for what it was worth. I don't think it's going to make too much of a big impact at Eurovision though. I kind of feel like it's on this mid ground of radio friendly commercial with an ethnic flair in there, but it's not groundbreaking enough to make a massive impression. Does that make sense? So yeah, for me, it's kind of like the mm, five to six out of 10 level for me at the moment. But I can tell you that that is a grower and I will be jamming out to that a lot more. Lazaro brings a great artistry. She's got a really good aesthetic going on, lovely costume. I love that little tipsy topsy hat she's got on. She has character within that vocal as well. Her R rolls, her breathy vocals at the beginning, her falsetto moments. She controls attention. I just think this song has growability factor. It's a grower, not a shower. However, guys, they were just my thoughts on Lazada. What did you think about her and about this track? Let me know all of your thoughts down below. I can't wait to get stuck into your comments. And do you feel like, oh, I feel you've kind of got a president and a bar for France. And then when a song doesn't quite meet it, you're a bit like, 
okay i'm not sure how i feel it's a bit different let me know everything guys down below but that is all for me all from this video if you are loving this season so far hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button and don't forget that bell notification button that way you can stay up to date with all the other videos i have to bring you on this channel and you won't miss a trick but all i have to say now is thank you so much for watching please stay safe look after yourselves and i'll see you in the next one take care everybody au revoir